Michael Davis with Moby Booth. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate adding more tension to the pivoter. So if you find that your head is falling forward or it's just moving too easily, what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to tighten some things up. Now, what we provide you with is a 532nd L key, which is the largest one in your kit. You're going to need to supply a 7 sixteenths wrench. This is a ratcheting wrench, which will make it easier but a standard open and uh, closed end wrench will work. Um, this is my preferred tool is to use a socket. Um, this would be in place of the L key. Uh, you can pick up these uh, sockets for about $3 at Home Depot. Uh, and this is a 532nd hex head. Um, and then you can attach that to a standard 3 8 socket. So I'm gonna do this video demonstrating the L key um, this is definitely a more comfortable tool to use. We are not going to use the T-handle that's provided on these. So you don't want to break the ball head off. I'm going to use this tool, however, to pry open the pivoter. And on the inside, you have two nuts with a series of washers. And then you have the uh, the hex head here where your L key is going to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my L key into the hex head of the bolt. And then I'm going to take my ratcheting socket. Standard open end will work as well. And I'm going to add more tension by tightening these two bolts here. So if you just need a routine maintenance adjustment, you can do that by tightening both sides. And then you can return the pivoter by prying with your hands. If that's too hard, you can also use the tool to pry it back flat. Now, I'm gonna do an additional step here to demonstrate complete removal of the nuts. And this time I'm gonna use this socket here. Now this is only necessary if you're if your adjustment is continuing to loosen up, and what we're going to do is we are going to add some thread locking liquid to the threads, and that prevents the nuts from spinning. So if yours has loosened up over time, you're going to want to add some thread locker to the nuts of the bolt, and it'll keep the nuts from loosening up. Now the first one that comes off is a lock nut. There's nylon on the end. The next one that comes off is a standard nut. Now notice I am not turning this. We don't need to turn this. We only want to turn the nut. Now you do not need to take the washers off, but you'll look at the threads and you can see that there's, uh, there's some residue from the thread locker left on there. If it's uh, continuing to loosen up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some more. Now this one says uh, thread lock on it. This is a, a generic version, but they also have them under the name um, uh, Loctite, and that can be found at Home Depot and Lowe's and other stores like that. 
And I'm going to add a couple drops to the threads. Now this is the red. Uh, the red is known as the permanent. They also have some blues, um, but I would go with the reds. It's going to hold a little bit stronger. And you're going to put a couple drops on the threads. And then we are going to reassemble the nuts in the order that they came off. So we're going to put the standard nut on there. And they might go on a little easier than they came off because the liquid actually acts as a lubricant. And then it'll set in about 15 minutes, it will harden. I'm going to put a couple more drops. That'll be for the next screw that I'm going to add, the next bolt. So, I'm going to adjust the socket. I'm going to demonstrate using the open end this time. You don't need to have a socket end. Now you're going to want to adjust this rather firm. Don't be afraid to tighten it up. I'm going to add my next one. And this is the one with the nylon at the end. I'm going to use the socket this time to speed up the video. Now we test them. For me, uh, good, a good amount of tension is rather hard to turn by hand. You don't want it to be too easy. You'll have to add more tension, but a good amount of tension is going to be rather hard to turn by hand. Um, again, you can use the end of the handle. You could also use the end of a socket or a wrench to return this back into the position. Um, and you have to wait about 15 minutes and the uh, thread lock will lock the hardware onto there. Um, what happens when they pivot back and forth a bunch of times, the uh, nut can slowly back off and the thread locker prevents that from backing off. So thanks for watching and that's how you maintain the pivoter on your Moby Boothora.